Thank you, Fran. All right, gasoline prices here in Metro Atlanta. They've been falling since early summer. That's the good news. Experts are predicting it's a trend that will continue through the fall. Now you may have wondered why gasoline is sold in fractions of a penny. Well, our why guy wondered the same thing. Saving money on gasoline can be exhausting. The price seems to change every day, up and down, up and down. But there's one consistent. Gasoline comes priced to the tenth of a penny, $2.99.9 instead of $3. I don't know about you, but I don't have fractions of a penny in my pocket, so let's ask why gas stations use this unique method of pricing. It all started back in 1932 in the days of 12-cent stamps and prohibition. Congress passed a federal excise tax of one-tenth of a cent on every gallon of gasoline sold. Retailers decided if the federal government could charge fractions of a penny, they could too. Remember, this is all during the Great Depression. Gas cost as little as 10 cents a gallon, so increasing the price by a full penny was a major change and a shock to consumers. Retailers could ease the pain by adjusting prices by fractions of a penny. According to Jeff Leonard with the National Association of Convenience Stores, the pricing practice eventually became a great marketing tool. When a driver hurrying along the interstate sees a billboard advertising gas at $2.99.9 instead of $3, they're more likely to stop. Leonard tells us a California gas station eliminated the nine-tenths of a penny for a while, pricing his fuel at exactly $2.99 a gallon. He thought the cheaper price would win him customers, but it didn't. All it did was cost him $23 a day in profits. Oh, interesting. All right. Well, if you've got a question for Jerry Carnes, our why guy, send it on over to Facebook, Twitter, or email. All right. Well, speaking of folks spending.